Faith. It's a very interesting topic. Now, faith is a spirit. That's what you need to understand first. When I talk about faith, and we're talking about spiritual faith, faith according to the Bible, it says that faith comes, and it comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Did you hear that? That's the only way it comes. Faith can only build into your spirit by you meditating on the Word of God. Faith is powerful. The God kind of faith can overcome anything. It is so powerful. You see, if you are a sick person and you need prayer, the person who prays for you should be a believer that has the faith to believe that by the stripes of Jesus, when they wounded him and whipped him at Calvary, you were healed. You need faith to be born again. And God is gracious in that area. If you are not a Christian, this is how it works. You might go to a meeting like I did to a Billy Graham meeting. I heard Billy Graham say, you all need to be born again. I thought, yeah, I wished I could be at the time. I had a few problems. And I saw people flock out to the front. This was in Melbourne in the 60s. And uh, I stood there and I was fighting myself. Something was pulling at me. And then he came back and he said, God's spirit will not always strive with you. Now is the time to move. And without realizing, I didn't have far to go because I was on the front row anyhow, I, I walked out to where everybody was. And I thought, I can't do this. I have so many problems right now. Gee. And I tried to escape. Well, God doesn't miss anything. He had a gentleman place, saw me leaving the auditorium. And uh, he just tapped me on the shoulder. He said, young man, did you come to this meeting to give your life to God? I said, yes. I really didn't as far as I knew, but at that point I did. He said, do you know you're a sinner? I said, oh yes, I know I'm a sinner. That's the problem. I was a good sinner. I did a lot of bad things. And he said, well, see all these people here? Several thousand there. They were all sinners. But see, Jesus forgives your sin. And when he forgives your sin and you accept him as your Lord and Savior, a spirit of faith comes into your life. Now, of course, I didn't understand all that, but I just said the prayer. Three o'clock in the morning, I had tears in my eyes because he told me to read John's Gospel in the Bible, and I did that. And something transformed me, and I said, God, what's happening to me? I remember closing my eyes, three o'clock in the morning, all alone. I had two tears had run down my cheeks. And a peace came upon me. Now there's a peace of God you'll never understand, which passes all understanding. And with that came a faith. It's like a knowing, a very simple. I was only a baby in Christ, I understand. But there was something there that was drawing me, pulling at me. And a man got hold of me, a good man, that was a Bible teacher. He said, Steve, what you need is to understand the basics of the gospel, what Jesus has done for you. He said, if you do, faith will grow in your heart. Because you've been born again now, faith has begun. But faith will just stagnate unless you feed it the word of God. And I thank God I got a good tutor because he got me for a few weeks, every week, and he just taught me the word. And I'm so thankful for him. I'll never forget this man. He's in heaven right now. And I'm looking forward to meeting him one day and say, Look what the Lord has done. I've served him now for all those years, almost 50 years ago that happened. And I thank God because faith has become so powerful. By faith, you can command in the name of Jesus people to be healed, to be blessed, for circumstances to change. Faith is the key to Christianity. So people say, oh, I'm in faith. I'm a Christian. No, that's fine. And it's a statement in itself. But real faith is acting on the Word of God. Like I said at the beginning, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Faith is the answer. And faith is the most precious thing you can develop in. I would encourage you, watching this, ask God to develop your faith. But you know what God will tell you? Get into the Bible. Make sure you understand the Gospels, why Jesus came. And then the instructions is the epistles from the Acts of the Apostles on and it's alive. Faith brings everything alive. Christianity is not a dead religion. Christianity is not religious. It's an act. It's faith. It's living from the Word of God right now, every day of your life. God bless you. Thank you for listening today.